Hey guys, and welcome back to my, uh, what, what am I doing? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Um, so for this video, I thought I'd do something different and I wanted to show you what we eat around Christmas time here in Sweden. And so I will be showing you guys how we bake Lucibule. And basically, if you guys know what saffron tastes like, that's usually what Lucibule tastes like. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys want to try it out, I'll leave all the ingredients down below and you can easily just search up a recipe too on Google if you want to. But yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So I'm gonna start by turning my stove on to a medium heat, just because we don't want our milk mixture to be too hot. We want it to be lukewarm or finger warm, whichever one you guys like to say. And I'm gonna be taking 200 grams of unsalted butter and we are going to be adding that into our pot. Now you guys can just let it sit or you can stir it around like I'm doing, whichever one you wanna do, it doesn't matter. Just make sure the butter is all the way melted. I'm adding 450 milliliters of milk and I am using milliliters because I'm in Sweden otherwise it would just be two cups and I have broken up my yeast with my hands and I'm just going to be adding the milk mixture with the yeast and I feel like it's a lot easier to stir by hand first to break up the yeast than use a machine. After I'll be adding one egg and I totally forgot to film when I added the sugar, but all I did was add 165 grams of sugar. Next, I'm just going to be taking two packets of saffron. You guys can add as much saffron as you please. I would add three, but I only had two packets with me. Next, I'm just going to be adding the top of the machine, and I'm just going to turn it on and stir it together for a little bit. After that is all mixed together, I'm just going to be adding as much flour as I need to form the dough and I'm going to start out by stirring it off first and then I will use the machine. After you feel that your dough is not sticky anymore, you're just going to be placing it into another bowl and I'm going to be covering it with two medium sized towels and you want to make sure that no doors and no windows are open in the house because we want to let our dough rise and you're just going to let it sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. After the dough has been sitting for an hour, I'm just going to get ready to knead the dough and I'm going to start by placing some flour on the table and then I will be taking the dough out of the bowl and you can see how ginormous it is. Next I'm just going to pour the dough out on the table and if there's some dough that's sticking to the bowl, you can just pick it out with your fingers, it's all okay. And after we got that all out, I'm just going to be putting some flour on top of our dough and I'm going to start by kneading it out with my hands. You want to make sure you knead the dough out really good so you have no air bubbles and after you're done kneading the dough you want to make sure that you start rolling it out into a line because we're going to start to break off pieces for our lucibule and it doesn't matter really what size i just like to take small to medium sized balls and you're just going to break off as many as you can Once you're done with all your balls, I just like to get a piece of baking paper and put it out in a big pan. You can either do this now or later. I just do it now so I don't have to worry about it later. So this next part is my favorite and we will be forming the lucibule. This part does take a little time, but it's okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to start by rolling it out into a long line, but you don't want it too thin, but at the same time you don't want it too thick. Yeah. 
After you're done forming your long line, you're gonna take each corner and you're gonna roll it in opposite ways to form an S, just like so. And you're gonna be doing that to every single ball. And if you can roll it out really long and it's still like a perfect thin, thick size, you can actually split it in half and make two mini Lucy Boulets. I like doing that sometimes because otherwise your Lucy Boulet is gonna come out on steroids. After you're done forming all the Lucy Boulets, we're just gonna be placing them on the baking pan and we're gonna be putting that same towel over them and let it sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna be taking one egg and I'm gonna be mixing it all together and then I will be taking a cooking brush and we are just going to be spreading the egg mixture all on top of the Lucy Boulets. Once that is done, we are gonna be taking some raisins and you're just gonna take two for each Lucy Boulet and you're gonna be placing it in the swirl part. So I forgot to film when I preheated the oven, but I just preheated my oven to about 200 Celsius, which is 400 Fahrenheit. And you're just gonna let the Lucy Boulets sit in there for about seven minutes, or you can just keep an eye on them until they have this golden brown color on them. But that is the final product. I hope you guys try it because they are really good and really delicious, and they're not that hard to make. But if you guys wanna see another baking or even a cooking video, just leave it in the comments down below, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.